Hey everyone, Mola Pambacha here, Director of Solutions Engineering here to talk a little bit about Silent Push's indicators of future attack. So for a agenda today, we'll talk about a couple of major things. Number one, talk a little bit more about the challenges that security professionals face. Talk more about what preemptive threat intelligence actually is, how Silent Push fits into that overall story, as well as understand a little bit deeper around how we create indicators of future attack and where to find them. So fundamentally, the purpose behind preemptive threat intelligence is to be able to solve a problem. And that problem today is that we really don't know as an industry where attacker infrastructure actually is. We're consistently in this vein of understanding threat intelligence as IOCs. And it's become a trial to be able to go out there and try to find what could be relevant to a particular organization. And inevitably, we are late to the game. We are rarely able to be able to find threat actor infrastructure as it's being stood up and managed. Today, what organizations do is they collect IOCs from many different places, whether that's endpoint telemetry, whether that is IR engagements, whether that is collecting them from the open, deep, and dark web. Those are all really good solutions to be able to find things after they've actually become a problem. So fundamentally, right, there's that major threat of late discovery. This is one of those things where we as a threat intelligence industry are very often late to the game when it comes to being able to understand what this infrastructure actually looks like. And in those cases where we are able to try to find some of this infrastructure, it's usually very complex for us to be able to find it. It takes multiple different tools, utilizing passive DNS in one tool, utilizing scanning in another, and trying to fit it all together to try to figure out what this attacker infrastructure looks like. And then finally, all of this is really noisy. If things aren't tuned properly, it causes massive alert fatigue for those people consuming that intelligence within an organization. So what we are really trying to do here is to get left of boom, to understand a little bit more about what threat intelligence could be, which is more preemptive, getting back to the promise of what it once was. To be able to tell the SOC, the IR, teams to be able to tell them, hey, this is a threat that could impact us, and we have definitive confidence that that particular thing is used by a particular threat actor or campaign. So fundamentally, in order to combat adversaries who are becoming more sophisticated, organizations must adopt preemptive defense strategies and embrace stealthy security mechanisms. So where does Silent Push fit into this entire structure. We, as a company, provide preemptive cyber defense in the form of indicators of future attack. This is our way to be able to hunt across multiple different data sets and provide actionable data, things that are block grade quality for our clients to then use, to be able to block at the proxy level, to be able to correlate within a sim, to be able to run SOAR playbooks off of, to be able to use downstream and into the hands of those people who need threat intelligence the most. So when we talk about indicators of future attack, these simply are hunting rules that we have applied across our data set, across the PADNS data set that we collect, across the scan data that we collect. And it allows us to be able to group and cluster threat actor activity extraordinarily quickly. In particular, we're able to really look at the TTPs of infrastructure creation and management by these threat actors and by these campaigns in order to get a preemptive understanding of what that infrastructure looks like before it can cause harm. So this can be looking at access brokers, uh, phishing, uh, campaigns that are out there. And we can also look at APT groups due to some of the different mistakes, misconfigurations, and patterns that they have as well. Now, one of the really great things about Silent Push is that all of this data is collected and scored by us. 
We do not have any third party relationships with other vendors that add on or pull it onto our data set. We are entirely reliant on our own collection so we can do the best data science work in order to understand what these TTPs of adversary infrastructure creation management actually are. And through that, we're able to create tons of different metadata categories that allow us to be able to create those patterns that allow organizations to be able to get a preemptive knowledge of what infrastructure belongs to which threat actors and where on the internet they exist. So overall, right, there is this major difference that we are bringing to the industry through what we call indicators of future attack. IOCs may be useful in some circumstances. I'm not gonna say they aren't. However, if we as an industry want to get left of boom, to get closer to what the adversaries are actually doing, we need to understand those TTPs, not just within a organization's network, but we also need to understand how they exist on the infrastructure plane, to understand what those TTPs are of infrastructure creation and management so that organizations can be more proactive in their defense. So within Silent Push, we have entire sections of our platform dedicated to this. This is where we can break out individual threat actors, campaigns, malware into specific lists of observables that allow organizations to then use that data downstream, whether it's sending it to a proxy to do proactive blocking on, whether that is sending this to a SIM to run correlation on, whether this is running SOAR playbooks off of this data in the SOC sort of use cases. Those are all things that we can do. Now, what's really fantastic about this is that all of this data is transparent. We have our own view of what threat actor infrastructure is. That doesn't mean that you don't have your own. So one of the things that we are able to do is to be able to give the tools of detecting creation management patterns to our clients. If you want to do the same hunts that we do in order to track this infrastructure, it's absolutely possible to do so on your end based off of all of the different metadata attributes that we're able to create. And then you can take all of that data that you have and create your own custom IOFA feeds for your own internal clients. So if you're tracking your own UNC groups, for example, this is absolutely something that you can use in order to serve those customers based off of the threats that you are seeing internally. So overall, right, Silent Push allows our clients to be able to be as proactive as possible, to not only take those indicators of future attack that our team is collecting, but also to be able to put those tools into the hands of intelligence and hunting teams all throughout the world. We're extremely transparent in this process. So you'll be able to see at a granular level how we come up with all of this data. And fundamentally, we'll be able to take all of this and put it into the hands of those people who need it the most. The teams on the Intel side, the teams on the IR side, the SOC side, the hunting side, every single group can be able to benefit from the data that Silent Push has. So with that, please check out a full demo of the platform. Scan the QR code, go to our website, and we'll be able to show you exactly how this works, how the platform is able to function, as well as what the data itself actually looks like and how that can be piped into the existing security stack that you have today. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, please let us know. Happy to help however we can.